legendary local PGA Tour golfer, JDBJ Don Blake. I call him JDB. How many people call you JDB? Quite a few, right? One. Just me? <laughs> Devin Dixon. Am I the only one? No way. <laughs> uh, maybe once in a while, but it's not. You're more consistent. Some people is just kind of on and off. But yeah. You are all the time. Yeah. I, I, don't I don't know, know why. I always I say no JDB. Nice putt, JDB. Uh, we are hanging out here. We are excited. If you didn't hear the headline this week, uh, there was a, a documentary video that was released, and there was a very big surprise out of Black Desert on the Himalayan putting course, which is mammoth out there at Black Desert. If you haven't seen that, you got to go take a peek at that. Uh, but, Patrick, I wanted to start with you and, and talk about when did you get the idea to try to find a way to get Jade on his 500th career start and – Give him a sponsor's exemption for the championships. I'd like to know that also. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the very first time um, that I had the aha moment was when they were filming the document, when Greater Zion was filming the documentary and had Jadon in the studio. This was, what, a year ago or so? I'm, it's pretty been a close. little while. Yeah, pretty close. And, um, I mean, Jadon's telling his story, and I walk in, and, and there's, like, Kleenexes all over <laughs> the place, and they're... Jadon's crying and the and the film crew's crying and everybody's crying. <laughs> it's like Oprah's giving out tears today. <laughs> and uh, it was so, emotional. So I had this uh, idea. To, I told the film crew, I'm like, "Hey, I want to give Jadon an exemption into the tour. Why don't you have him come in tomorrow?" Like that was a year ago, and um, something like that. And um, and I said, "Here's how we could do this. We could surprise him out at, at Black Desert." And everybody just loved the idea. Um, and then I was so excited. I had the certificate done uh, that long ago. And then the, the PGA said, you know, you'll get crucified if you do that because, you know, that you're supposed to give the exemptions to the up-and-comers, the ones that haven't made it yet. And and uh, I reminded them that I had negotiated for two ex additional exemptions that are over and above what they normally give out. And uh, I said, and those were unqualified. So unqualified. And, and so, uh, but they ultimately said, no, don't, don't, just don't do it. And um, then I, I tried a couple more times, and it was just always no. And then just uh, a few weeks ago, a month ago, I, I was speaking at the Element Awards for uh, handing out uh, awards for women in leadership. And uh, Jenna Miko, which is uh, Jadon's daughter-in-law, comes right up to me. And she, like, I'm not kidding you, like, her eyes pierced my skull, and she was, like, challenging <laughs> my manhood. Yeah. And was like, you do impossible <laughs> things all the time. You can do this. I believe in you. And I was like, oh, my gosh, now i gotta, I got to really try hard now. <laughs> and so, <laughs> and, uh, so Greater Zion chipped in, and they put together a six-minute video that I could send to the PGA that I knew would melt them. I went over the heads of the people that had been telling me no and went straight to Tyler Dennis, the president of the PGA, and he's a Utah guy. So I was like, there's our shot. Right. And uh, it took about two weeks, but then they finally came back and said yes. So I got on the phone, and we started arranging this the, what we had planned a year earlier, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Well, it was a lot of fun for me to be presenting that award. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I I just was going to do this documentary for the community of the Greater Zion. And, you know, and I was thinking to myself, you know, well, this might maybe let, you know, the Black Desert people, I didn't know Patrick that well at the time, I knew the name, as in like, well, maybe they'll maybe see this and realize I grew up here, the story, 499 right now with PGA Tour events. This could be my 500th at my home community uh, where I grew up. It would be kind of a cool story, but, you know, not all the people see the story how I kind of see it. So I was wishing and hoping it had happened. And normally, like Patrick is saying, they don't usually do it one week in advance is all. Yeah. Is exemptions. And to do it four months in advance, whatever it is now, is, you know, he pulled some pretty big strings to get this done. And, and Let's... Let's go to the moment. Uh, for our listeners that haven't seen the video, the documentary, it's on YouTube. It's all over our socials. Am I going to cry? No. <laughs> you, no. You need to be focusing on your golf game. you got a golf tournament in October. All right, all right. Uh, you're going to cry in the documentary, though, oh, yes, I, I but I not will. in the studio. <laughs> this is the moment where uh, Patrick presents Jadon with the exemption. Jadon, can I get you to hold this for me? Oh, my goodness. The certificate of exemption <laughs> Is provided to the recipient honoring. Uh, won the NCAA champion. Is provided to the recipient honoring. 
There's 500 start on the PJ Tour posted at the Black Desert Championship. Patrick Manning. Yeah, that was the moment. And uh, it's, a, I can't, my, my, my hair on my arms is standing up right now. I mean, I've seen this three times, and I still think <laughs> it's just kind of a tearjerker. You know, I watched it four times this morning trying to watch it and get over the emotions of each time, <laughs> thinking that I could, after seeing it that many times, it's like, ah, it's no big deal. I'll, I'm over it now. The emotions are gone, but I can't do it without the emotions. <laughs> I mean, I'm emotional now. That's 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 probably a good thing in some ways, though, right? This is special. I oh, mean, it's very special. You started at Red Hills, and if you go watch the movie, you'll see that. But Dixie High won state championship. Went to Utah, Utah State, with the Aggies. Um, I got choked up hearing about your mom driving you in car and sleeping in the car playing, yeah. you know, Utah junior golf events. I mean, yeah. the grind was real back then. Oh, it was real. I mean, the first time I really kind of had a chance to really watch it was uh, yesterday morning. I thought, you know, I'm going to sit and watch it. And a friend of mine was with me, and and I pulled up off of Facebook a clip. And right for some reason, right where it started, it was not at the very first. It was kind of in the middle of it. And... I had about five to ten seconds of watching a clip, and then all of a sudden that came to my part where the picture of my mom was there. And that's like I handed the friend my phone. I says, look, I, I can't watch this. So I quickly got emotional and had to walk away. But since I've been able to gather myself and come in and watch the video and enjoyed every minute of it, and, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a tearjerker, and I'm very proud of the whole situation. Jadon Blake, Patrick Manning, Black Desert, PGA Tour, 499 starts. How, how, when was the last year you played? It's been, because you were on the Champions Tour for so long. You won yeah. three times on the Champions Tour. Uh, you told me, you were in here, we, we were talking during the Masters, and you were like, talking about how special it would be, and that you've, yeah. you've written tournaments, and you've called people, and you said, I just want one more start. I've, I've had community businesses here in town, probably six, eight different ones, right? letters to i don't know if you've seen or heard about those but they wrote letters to the tournament you know the pga tour saying hey this is a no-brainer you got to do this and so i've got support from the community and so it's just kind of nice to have that it's going to be fun uh, october that second weekend of october black desert championships and uh, jay don blake will be in the field so how many exemptions is this now that have been given out is this two or three or four i've given out the two unqualified the two and that was to Jadon Blake and Mike Weir. Okay. Where is he going to be in the Weir, field? Yeah. We just, I just seen him last four yep. or five days ago. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Same day I saw you out there, yeah. That's awesome. Uh, of course, he's got Utah ties that run deep. Lives up in Draper, played at BYU, won the Masters. Uh, I thought it was really cool in the documentary, Jadon, how long it took you to get to the U.S. Open. I didn't realize it. How, how long was it? Was it six years, six tries to get in the U.S. Open, or was no, it right was, away? That was tries to get on the Twice. PGA Tour. Oh, that was to get your yeah, card. To qualify to get my card seven times to try to get that, where they only had it once a year, and now they have it like a couple times a year they do it. Of course, it's all changed now. It's all different now through the the satellite tours and all that stuff, so how you qualify now, it's all different. Right. But back then, you had it once a year. 25 guys is all that got it. I went back and I was reading about the 82 win at Torrey Pines. Yeah. I want you to tell our listeners what happened to your putter. Uh, <laughs> it it kind of got a little bit crooked. <laughs> uh, it, it's an interesting story. I I played the week before in, in Palm Springs, and I hit the ball really well during the tournament. I just didn't putt very well and really frustrated and had like seven three putts on the last day and just struggled. And so a bunch of friends would come down to watch me in Palm Springs from St. George. And I decided to spend the day after and play around a golf. And it happened to be a Canyon Crest. Uh, I think Terry Alston might have been the pro back then, so I knew him. And we went and played that next day. And we had a little kind of side bets. And I'd missed a few putts and got a little frustrated and, you know, I just, and I don't, I don't ever throw clubs. I don't ever do anything. And I wasn't really like throwing it as in like mad, mad anger. I just was going to sling it. I'm done with it, this thing. Sling it slide sideways along the grass over towards where I was going to walk. So I'm going to go walk and pick it up. But I held on about two seconds too long and it didn't go the direction I was trying to sling it to. It went towards the golf carts and the 
ended up going in between the the railings of the hood of the cart and ding 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 like a pinball machine in there and i get over there and it's got like three different bends and <laughs> and so i ended up taking the putter and tried to bend it as straight as i could and i'm looking down and like oh that's good enough and we went to go finish on and got to like the 16th hole of par three i hit it about two and a half feet I had a birdie putt downhill a little bit of breaker and i i missed it and i was just like, like this is i'm done and I slung that putter in the pond, <laughs> just launched it out there. And and at at the time, and I'm not thinking of what all of, what it was all about. But as I'm driving over there, I'm thinking, you know what? I says that putter was given to me by my dad. I mean, when I was a little kid, so very sentimental. I used it all through college. Won the NCAA championship with it. So won a bunch of tournaments. It was a bullseye. So uh, then I get over to San Diego and I get on the putting green on Monday afternoon and. Lo and behold, there's this one guy that's sitting out there that's got a bag that's got a bunch of putters sitting right there. So I thought, you know what? I said, I kind of need to get me a putter for this week because mine's gone. I go over there, and this gentleman's like, well, he, I've never seen him before. And he's like, yeah, I said, this is my first week having credentials to come out and provide golf clubs. So I'm like, all right, well, nice to meet you. Shook hands. And, and so I'm grabbing this putter, trying three or four of them, kind of like them, and found one I liked. And... And the guy's name that was uh, had the bag right there is named Scotty Cameron. So as golfers probably know Scotty Cameron putters and mm-hmm. how they've ballooned to be one one of the prestigious putters around. And so I've got to be able to use the Scotty Cameron putter before he even put a name on it. It was just a hand milled out of his garage. Him and his dad just a hand milled machine, kind of thing. and they carve them out and then gun metal them. You know, finish them up and. And it so happens I play that week and win the tournament with that putter. So I win the first tournament with the Scotty Cameron putter. And so we've been pretty good friends since then. So Yeah, you got a lifetime subscription to free Scotties then, don't well, you? <laughs> for, for a while there, it was, it was pretty nice to have some. But I've got enough now, so I don't know if I need any more of them. But they're nice to have. Yeah, absolutely. Jay Dunn Blake, our guest here. Uh, Patrick Manny, managing partner, Black Desert. Patrick, what's the feedback been from your end? Since earlier this week, when you guys, you know, surprised Jadon with this exemption, what's the aftermath been like from your perspective? Uh, it's been all incredibly positive. Got nothing negative, and it's just just people are just saying it was an awesome thing for Black Desert to do for Jadon, and and it's just been really positive. I th- I think I've been thinking about the tournament coming up, and I and I think the thing I'm looking most forward to right now is having uh, your own Mark Musgrave is going to be. Uh, launching the players off the first tee and hearing mark uh announce jadon blake on the first tee is going to be pretty pretty awesome absolutely absolutely jadon <laughs> is is getting getting more reps in up in your practice schedule like what's been going through your mind the last couple of days as far as actually getting out there and maybe trying to make the cut and make some noise you know i i went and played yesterday so i went and played 18 holes at bloomington and i mean it's it's nice that this situation happened a few months ahead of time yeah because i mean i haven't played a whole lot and i've been off the champions tour a little bit had some health issue with myself and then you know had a situation where my wife uh had come up with cancer so i ended up pretty well stopping my career uh i wanted to support her with yeah her situation so it's been just over a year that's been going on so i haven't played a whole lot I've been dedicated to my wife and so uh so i don't know how much i would have played i mean if it would have been like the week before it's like oh man i wish i would have known i would have kind of prepared a little bit better and so I, and now to have this situation i'm i'm all out i mean i'm i'm gonna do the best i can to uh, prepare myself and practice and get a little bit more fit and uh and i i'd like to make a good showing i mean making the cuts kind of a, a nice gesture to to probably get past but i'd like to look a little bit beyond that and be a contender and i mean at some aspects i feel like i could so so i i mean i i'm a little bit of a has-been but but i'm going to show people that you know i've still got what what possibly can happen yeah i love that i mean and, and look you're going to have a little home course knowledge right you've played yeah. black desert these guys are going to come in play one or two practice rounds a couple of days before exactly. play the pro-am and tee it up and you can sneak out there and play it uh, at least once a week for the, all summer long well that's what's kind of nice is that at, at the very end after i'd pre- got presented the sponsor exemption from patrick he 
he's like, oh, he says, by the way, you got free reign of the golf course anytime you want. <laughs> so he gave me that opportunity to go play, which is a great opportunity for me, and I appreciate that again, Patrick. So to be able to go out there and play, and the golf course is wonderful. I've played it three different times, and every time I go out there, it's just you're in awe every time. It's just spectacular, and they've done a great job. And then the facility that's going up with the the hotel and the resort, it's like, I mean, you just stand there and just enjoy the moment. And now to be out there and practicing and playing and have a good opportunity to, to have a goal to really try to accomplish and have some fun and enjoy it and, and hope I can handle the situation when it happens. I love it. Jadon Blake in studio with us talking about getting the exemption uh, on the practice screen there with friends and family. Patrick sneaks up behind him, surprises yeah. him. Go, go, go on YouTube, folks, and watch the video if you haven't. It's not that long. It's worth every second. You might need to grab a tissue, but that's okay. Uh, it's good for the soul to shed a tear once in a while. Uh, Patrick, I'm just curious. How is the tournament moving on? Where's the excitement level for you guys, for the state of Utah? I see. I was driving back from the 4A girls golf tournament, and I, I see Black Desert Championships on all the billboards and the PGA logos and the FedEx Cup trophies, and I, I'm just getting amped up that we've got this coming this fall to St. George. It's going to be a blast. We've had uh, – we haven't um... – went live on tickets and for everybody listening don't buy general admission tickets right now because there's sites, sites out there that are not us um and uh but we've had about fourteen thousand people just contact us through our website just saying please let us know when the tickets go out and sell so there's a lot of uh there's a lot of enthusiasm and uh i love the community there we're getting great support from greater zion great support from governor cox in the state of utah um, I met yesterday with um, the airport and SkyWest and to talk about some logistical challenges that we have. And SkyWest stepped up and said, hey, we can help solve some of these. During tournament week, we'll, we'll grab some flights back and forth to Vegas so we can get the golfers up here easy, easily. And uh, it's just the community just always rallies. I love that. I love that. Um, how many of the, of the top – this is the wraparound season, right? So you're going to be coming out of the FedEx Cup championship. But – are we going to be able to get a lot of these Utah golfers, the Tony Finals, the Peter Quest, the Patrick Fishburns, obviously Jadon Blake, Mike, we're already in the field. The only two guys we know about right now. Right. Um, what, what are your thoughts on what the field could look like? I'm sure you get asked that question quite a bit, and I know it's probably too early to fully answer that question. It's too, it's too early to answer the question. I don't want to name drop, but we've had uh, three probably out of the top ten players reach out and just say, hey, you know, what's tell me about the course. Uh, they're v super interested uh, Patrick Fishburn uh, obviously got a lot of uh, TV time and is wearing the Black Desert. He is uh, a, a Team Black Desert guy. And um, he told me that everybody, everybody was asking questions about Black Desert. And so I, I think we're going to have a great field, but it'll be a while before we know who that is. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. But we know you'll be in that field. Uh, I'm glad. Which putter, yeah. which putter are you going to putt with? You don't know yet? You know, kind of funny, I, when I played out at uh, Bloomington, I... I, uh, I've actually got a bullseye in my bag with the Scotty, and so I putted a few holes with the Scotty early, and then I pulled out my, the bullseye, and and it just brings back memories and the feel, and, and I, I probably made four or five putts from 10, 15 feet that just center cut every one of them. I'm like, <laughs> I just wonder if I'm going to get laughed off the golf course bringing an old antique classic <laughs> bullseye putter out to play with so not if it helped you win last time exactly. right <laughs> so if it can help me make that those putts and i i might go ahead and use it it was it felt pretty good so i love it i love it you, uh lot lots to do now lot, what an emotional week i mean uh boston bracken wins your tournament yeah, in the ujga exactly. i know st george news put a really nice story out yesterday on that yeah. you know you get this exemption with all your family present i mean what's next i mean what, what what can top this last week for you jdb i don't right now there's not really that anything better in my life that that's kind of revolving and going on that uh, can get much better i mean this is in a way a dream come true like i said out there it's like being presented with the sponsor exemption and uh grew up here i mean i i used to run that stomping grounds shooting rabbits you know with a rifle not a golf club so <laughs> when i was a kid that hell i lived in the dixie downs which is just like a mile just down the road sure in, in a way so i from fifth grade on so that's where the whole area and i never visualized a golf course and now i'm seeing a golf course in that area and to be able to be part of that and be in my 500th event and in my hometown and the whole community can get involved and you mentioned of the 14,000 
people you're getting tickets. I've got 14,001 <laughs> of emails and text messages. Hey, how do we get tickets? And like, can I get a ticket? So, I mean, I don't know how I'm going to handle all that, but what's going on right now? I mean, it can't get any better with what, what's happening, pursuing forward with trying to play some golf at Black Desert. For That's all my focus is right now is uh, trying to get my game ready for that and uh, have that honor be successful. You can put Marcy on the bag, or is that to be determined? Well, that's another. I mean, bags got tickets I need to get. I got to figure out who's going to caddy for me. And I mean, I don't want to upset anybody in the family, so I don't know who to go to. I even thought, well, maybe Patrick might <laughs> might caddy for me. So I, I threw that out there. <laughs> and they're like, well, you know, so uh, I don't know. We haven't decided that yet. So we're, uh, that's still on the works. Yeah. Lots to do. Lots yeah, to do. Lots to figure out. We've also got some assets for Jadon. Uh, we've, uh, we have, you know, Ali Mohall and yeah. Savannah Vallabi, and we've got four caddies going on at Black Desert now. So yep. we're going to get a lot of information into Jadon on, <laughs> on the people Brent, that are living that Brent, golf course I'll, every day. Yeah, I'll take every information and good knowledge I can get. And I've talked with Ali a little bit, and his her father Chris, and says, you know, she's out there all the time. She plays it all the time. So he says that she's not afraid to go to the back tips either. Mm-hmm. as a young lady and and play oh she the, rips yeah so so i like well she'll probably embarrass me but uh, i'll be willing to go challenge her at, so now wait a minute i saw you at green springs not too long ago you were sitting on hole nine and you busted one about 20 yards past me about 340 you still got a little bit in the tank well uh, there's a there's a little pop right there sometimes so and uh we hope we can kind of get a little bit more by the time the tournament comes to to kind of feel like i'm very competitive distance wise and and can uh, put up some scores to, you know, to kind of have some fun. So I'm that's my goal right now is that's my direction is in October. Well, we were having Jadon do kind of insider golf talk on our show. He came on twice during Masters Week. I was going to have you on during the PGA Championship. And now you're going to be busy. Tra- so I'm going to get like a player's perspective plus a golf insider. So this is huge. I love local storylines. This is one of the best. Patrick, you and your team, congratulations, Jadon. Uh, go, go shock everybody, make the cut, and contend on the weekend. And I know you got some time to get ready. Yes, I got a little time, so it's nice to have some time to practice and prepare and get feeling a little more comfortable with my game. So it's a good goal and good accomplishment to kind of be able to have that take place in St. George. Patrick, we got about 30 seconds here before we got to go to a break, but when will the GA tickets go on sale real soon? I was asking that question last night. So okay. we, we have to go through Chase, Payment Tech, and Ticketmaster. That's getting set up now. Probably not until July 1st, I'm guessing. Okay. But, uh, but tickets will be on sale at blackdesertevents.com. Right now, you can go buy uh, the VIP hospitality tickets, the upgraded experience, uh, but the general admission isn't, isn't on sale yet. All right, and we'll let everybody and all our sports fans and all our listeners know uh, when that does happen. Guys, thanks for waking up with us on a Friday talking some golf. Jadon, congrats. Patrick, congrats. And uh, we're not done. We'll have these guys back in studio, I'm sure, a lot more leading up to the Black Desert Championships this October. All right, got to run to a break. Lots more coming up when we come back on a Feel Good Friday.